I wanted to kind of like update you guys a little bit on the bubble, what's been happening, and uh, what's been happening in the hobby in general is, is really interesting because uh, nowadays with the market that we're in with basketball, you know, we see guys having one game, literally one game, the bowl bowl effect. We talked about it last week, and then their card prices literally doubling up after that one game where previous years you know like it would take guys at least a, a, a like a consistent couple of weeks of, of good games for their prices to really make a significant leap but nowadays you're like this is really like the stock market that we're in um with the with the with basketball cards you know part of it is like what you were saying doug we talked about it off air where it's like people are so excited about basketball being yeah. in sports coming back but a couple guys i want to highlight um first of all deandre aiden his first game back in the bubble was uh I think he had like 24 points, 12 rebounds. People were really excited about him. Um, but, you know, there was a lot of quick flips on him the day after his silver prisons. You can see in the next slide, it's going for about like almost 600, 550, 600 dollars now. So he was one guy that, that a went shell up. listing. So it's probably and, about 450. And and um, you know, there are I have there are a lot of people in the community who really still have a lot of uh, b believe in his uh, potential and his ceiling. You know, we always talk about how centers, they might not necessarily be able to sell as well, but there are people collecting him pretty, that were collecting him before his little, um, you know, blow up in the bubble. What was um, he? Was he the second pick? First. First, first overall. That's right. That's right. First right. overall. First overall uh, last year. And so, yeah, and then moving on from him, we have um, obviously a guy from the 14-15 rookie class, TJ Warren, who's now on the Indiana Pacers. He had a 53-point game. And actually, the last three games, he's been over 30 points or at least 30 points. So he's been a consistent scorer now. And, um, yeah, it's it's pretty amazing to think, like, I mean, if you had cards from 14-15, like, you know, 14-15 is when I got, got back in the hobby really heavy. Um, I thought I had a bunch of TJ Warrens, but I, I, I'm i thinking back now, I probably threw a majority of them out, to be honest. <laughs> would, you, um, would you say that he would be considered the greatest pacer of all time? I think... At this point, easily the greatest pacer of all time. I mean, I figured. Yeah. I figured. I mean, you score 50 and then 33 times in a I row. I mean, the, yeah, they should pretty the much. Greatest just, pacer of all time? Greatest pacer of all time. I, I, I agree with Conrad. Greatest pacer of all time. <laughs> and his son's uni, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, you got um, a lot of his base cards going for 365. You know, people are buying ba base cards in bulk now base, and, right? and getting those them graded. Yeah, those are just regular base. So yeah. what does that break down per? Uh, who's a math genius here? What's 365 divided by 12? How much is each individual one going for there? Um, that is what? About 30 bucks? That's like 30 bucks, yeah, 35, 35 ish. That's a lot. Um, and then you got a silver sell of him for 120. That's a raw silver. Dude, that and, is the, and, not to stop your, your flow, but I know the, exactly. I was just about to say, that is the worst prism design yet. <laughs> Dude. I guess the Embiid as well and the Wiggins, but. Is there, the, is there the, one off year? Yeah. You know, they were, I think, I think for the 14, 15 classes, that's when I got it back into the cop. Like I was saying, I got back in the hobby really heavy for 14, 15. I feel like that whole year they were really trying to like, um, kind of like what they're doing with Zion this year and Ja. With the Wiggins and J and Jabari Parker, they were I think they were like trying to really go for different different designs that year. Yeah, it was wild because they haven't <laughs> had like the draft thing in the background and yeah. some of the parallels and yeah. stuff. So there's a lot of stuff from 14, 15 that did not stick <laughs> in yeah. the hobby at all. But uh, last guy I want to talk about is uh, Doug's boy, Michael Porter Jr. Uh, 37 points yesterday or two days ago, 12 rebounds, and today he had a really stellar game as well. I think he had 20 something with more, like double digit rebounds as well. So looking like he's gonna eat with more playing time with uh what's his name being out for them, um yeah it looks like uh he's he might be actually pretty good. What what are your thoughts on on two good games from him? I mean he 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 basically was in the cellar with his comments about masks. Yeah. And then um you know now I don't know if that provided him some motivation or or what what the deal was. But. I think the um the 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 opportunity just presented itself to him with um with the the a key uh you know guy being out for them at the starter I forgot who is it, who it is I think it's Gary Harris that's out right now. Mm -hmm. Um so it you know guys who get the opportunity some guys flourish so he's one of those guys. I actually was one of the ones on his uh believing that he would be pretty good like last year you know when we talked about it last year. One of the sleeper picks last summer, we were talking about sleepers. Um, yeah, so it's it's kind of cool to see him like back to back yep, playing yeah. well. As an update, the the Nuggets won and back to back thirty point games for Michael uh, Porter finished with thirty and fifteen rebounds and eleven defensive rebounds. So um, his all I'm length saying, is helping. All I'm saying is I've been saying this for two years that he's the face of the Nuggets and everybody should invest. I do have a Mojo Prism up on our eBay right now. We're fielding offers. Been sitting on a lot of Michael Porter, so Doug will take thirty five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get that offer now, but it's uh, it's a it's a, it's a pop 
top nine on, on it, believe it or not, there's only 25 of them made, but a uh, population of nine for the Mojo Prism number to 25 of Michael Porter Jr. So nice. I, any offers Just, that look, at least look at Just come in here and pimp out your eBay listing. Yeah. I mean, that is like, last fall, I, last that, fall, is, I had that the, is weak sauce. Last fall, I had the idea of buying <laughs> a bunch of silver MPJs. Um, I just didn't get around to it. I wish I did now, you know. I got a Galactic. Because they doubled up. Like, I got a Galactic 9.5. I have the Mojo. I have the Silver. And I have a Flawless number and 5. And we Mojo. had, I know that we had a RPA, National Treasures RPA floating around. I don't know where it's at, but we had one. Oh. It may it may have gone into a buyback. Yeah. But oh, we uh, we definitely had one. Yep. So, but Michael yeah, Porter. throw those offers into Doug. I mean, I don't know if any reasonable offer will be refused. There might even be fifteen right. dollars, twenty-two dollars. Like, go for it. Well, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna send the eBay to you then. Um, to I'm already doing it anyway. And you, anyway. And, you, and you said it to me. I'll, it, you know, I'll be yeah. like, accept, 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 accept. And all this guy ain't bobo. At it, the right price, we <laughs> might even be able to include a Sean Mannion card in there for you. I'm not saying which one. I'm not saying which one, but there may be a Sean Mannion, maybe an RPA. I mean, the second stringer on the Vikings. Ready to take Kirk's job. You could have double investment. You could have the greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Porter Jr. You could have the next up and coming greatest quarterback of all time in Sean. Mayer. And that's a conversation that you do not want to have on eBay. 